good boy. Ah, 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 ah. No. Good. Okay, this is something that everybody seems to struggle with, whether it's a big dog or a little dog. Having your dog jump on you like that, now he's not gonna do it a ton because I'm gonna keep him where I want him, but having your dog jump on you when you're trying to walk is incredibly frustrating. It's going to be difficult to give your dog feedback if you've got them on a harness. So I start all the dogs on just a slip lead like this. I just have him on his little slip lead. This is all in the leash foundation course, everything that I'm doing with him. But when, when I go to re reset myself and I have him come back to me, a couple things happen. He gets excited because I'm getting him excited. So I've got to tone down who I am. Part of your dog jumping on you might be because you're talking to him like this. Hey, let's go, good job, all right, come on. But the other part might be because you've given him the entire leash. And then when you go to ask him to come back towards you, they're gonna come running at you full steam or maybe they're gonna grab the leash. It doesn't matter really what the reason is. The, the point is we want it to stop. So the, the way that you get this to stop is you give your dog enough leash so that you can have slack and give them feedback. That's it. You just need to give them a little bit of feedback. When you start the walk, I'm gonna start over and go through the gate right here because this is a big deal. If my dog is super jacked up and pulling me through the gate, we're not leaving. We don't leave all crazy. So if we go right here and I'm getting ready to walk out, my dog blows through this threshold, guess what we do? I'm gonna give him a little bump, swing my arm to the side and say, come on, and we're gonna do it again. We are not going to go further until we can master where we're at that matters because if I blow through this and my dog's dragging me I had a client tell me this the other day and she's like we do pretty good on the leash we do pretty good on the leash but we um takes about five or ten minutes before he actually calms down like, eh, that sucks that like that sets the tone for everything but more importantly there's nothing about that that says hey I'm leading the way your dog's leading the way the only reason they calm down is because it, now they're tired and they've got all their wiggles out don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. I want a calm dog before we ever start because if shit goes down out there, I want my dog to turn to me for direction. I don't want my dog lunging and barking and jumping and doing all this nonsense. I want them to be calm. I don't care what anybody else's dog does. I want my dog to pay attention to me. So as we walk, I'm gonna give him just enough leash to keep him with me. If he starts to put his nose on the ground, I'm gonna say no and bump the leash. If he goes out in front of me, I'm going to turn and go the other way and bump the leash. If he keeps pulling in front of me, watch what I do. I'm going to shorten up on my leash right here and I'm going to pivot and turn right into him. And look where my hand stays. My hand stays next to me and it pulls his body out of the way. So now we're lined up and we're able to walk again. Good boy. Good boy. If he really keeps going, I'm going to bump that leash. And this is where we were hitting those problems. This is where he's doing, let's go. This is where he was doing that jumping. But now if he goes to jump, uh-uh, come on. Let's go. Good boy. I've got control of that leash. So if he goes to jump on me, all I'm gonna do is bump that leash, say no, and walk into him. I'm not, if my dog jumps on me, I'm not gonna back out of the way for him and I'm certainly not going to use my hands to push my dog off because what's this say? What a fun game this is. My dog's just going to keep jumping, especially if it's a big dog and you're trying to do this and push him off you. No, get down, get down. No, get down. Look how fun he thinks this is. No, get away from me. Hey, get out of here. I don't want you to see that. He thinks it's a game. I don't want that. I don't want my dog doing that. So I'm going to take advantage of using my leash as my communication device. We don't speak the same language yet. This is my translator app. And then I'm gonna use my body to claim space and tell him no. Yes, I just set him up for failure, but he's gonna be fine. No, good. Just pop that leash, walk into him, that's it. Super, super simple, you guys, super simple. Use the tools that you have. These slip leads are phenomenal. If you don't wanna use a slip lead, you're just using a flat buckle, do that. It doesn't matter. A harness is not gonna give you that same that same uh, feedback. A harness is really good for tracking. It's really good for teaching scent work and recall. Not really great for teaching basic obedience. Oh, what a good boy you are. Sit. Good boy. 
All right, he's not a super, super jumpy dog, so we'll get more, we'll get more in the works. There'll be more dogs that jump. Good boy. Sit. Nope. I want you right there. Good job. All right, you guys, that's it. If you need help, check out the description, leashfoundation.com. 20 bucks, seven videos. It's yours forever. It goes through all of this stuff. And if this video is helpful for you, like it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And lastly, if you want a better dog, be effective with your tools. I'll see you guys in the next video.